Hi, it's Chef Rick, and today I'm making salt and pepper chips. Salt and pepper chips? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Can I have salt and pepper chips when they get bigger? <laughs> Here we go. So first thing we're going to need is half a large onion. So whenever we're chopping an onion, don't forget, we always keep the root intact, but you can chop off the top. You can chop through the root like that, but don't chop it off. Peel it. And it's the same technique we use in pretty much every other video when we're chopping an onion, except we're not looking for really, really small kind of minced onion or chopped. You can see I'm probably just about half a centimetre long. Um, obviously you don't cut all the way to the back and then probably again another centimetre as we chop in. So we're left with nice little chunks of onion. Like that, so there's half your onion. Some spring onions, four spring onions. I always just peel off that very fine kind of outer layer of skin. Chop off the top. I'm gonna to chop these up. These salt and pepper chips, these are super easy and it's all just about how you prep and how quick you, know, you can you can go on to make them once you've prepped your, your veg at the beginning. It's super, super easy. So we're just going to chop the um, spring onion into slices. And that's about as far as I go with a spring onion. There you go. All chopped up. And we're going to now use three large cloves of garlic which we do want to chop really nice and small. So the first thing we do with garlic, we're just going to chop off the very top and the very bottom and peel them. Just whilst I'm doing this, I'll ask you really nicely, if you, if you like these videos, um, if you could subscribe or hit like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, it really helps me out massively. It doesn't cost you anything and it's just, you know, I really do appreciate every single person who bothers to do that. So thank you in advance if you do. So there's our peeled garlic now. Crushed them with the back of a knife. Just going to make them so much easier to chop. They're not going to fly all over the chopping board when you do this. And then if you want to mince anything, just keep working it back and forward, left and right. And then if they start to spread out, bring them back to the middle. Keep chopping again. It just takes a bit of time. You can see every single time they start to spread out a little bit, I just bring them back to the middle. And the smaller they get, the easier they get to work with. And you end up with really lovely chopped yeah, pretty much minced garlic there. That's three large cloves. Right there. Uh, a green pepper. So I just chopped off the top and the bottom of this green pepper because I only used for these, I used the, the, the middle section, which I'll show you. Uh, but whenever you're chopping a green pepper or any pepper, of course, uh, all you need to do is you can pop out the stem And then you can just chop out the middle section. That'll just fall out. And then there you've got all the edible parts of the pepper. So you can chop those up wherever you like. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to use that middle section. And I want it in chunks. If you want really small pieces, you can have really small pieces. No hard and fast rule to this. I just do it kind of the way that you get it from, from my Chinese. So nice chunks of, of green pepper, probably around about a centimeter each way, just like we did with the onions. So again, we just chop them into strips and chop those strips up. Remove any of those little white bits. There you go. Uh, a red chili. You can keep the seeds out of this if you want these. I don't find these particularly spicy, but you want a little bit of spice in there, in my opinion. So this is just a red chili that I'm gonna chop up. Uh, again, as you can see, I've kept all the seeds in there. And I'm taking those individual strips and just giving them a couple of rough cuts through. Again, I don't really want to get this all minced down. I want this in there. Nice little pieces. Just like that. So there's a red chilli. We're almost ready to go now. We're just going to make a spice mix. So that's a teaspoon of Chinese five spice, a teaspoon of white pepper and one teaspoon of chicken powder. Give that a good mix round. And that is it, that's your prep. You get that on the side, you're ready to go. You've got to cook your chips 
Um, I, I've got my chips in the air fryer at the minute, so I'm going to add the chips to it, so you're not going to see me cooking the chips. So first thing we're going to do is put some sunflower oil into a wok. Get that wok nice and hot and put your onions in. Give those a good, uh, you know, shuffle around just until they start to get a little bit of colour on them. In with the garlic. So the onion's been in there for maybe four to five minutes. Get that garlic in there for around about a minute, depending on how hot your wok is. You do not want that to burn. You just want all that, uh, the, the aromatic flavour to come out of it. In with the green peppers. Again, give those a mix round. If this wok's all being hot, like I say, you probably need about another minute with those just to just to soften them slightly the red chili again a good mix round and you're probably going to need uh, no more than an extra minute with that chili so there we go so that whole thing's been cooking there for around about Probably about three minutes all in. You can just see now just a little bit of colour is getting on everything. It's uh, it's all softening up nicely. Now we're going to add our chips. Yeah, these were just in the air fryer. Uh, again, we all know the best way to do chips is actually to fry them properly. But this is a way you can really can kind of improve those air fryer chips. I do love an air fryer, of course, but chips, I don't really rate them to be, to be honest. But it doesn't matter when you're doing this because you're adding so much flavour to them. Uh, into that hot wok, of course, give that a really good mix round. Then we're going to add our spice mix to the top. And again, give them a good toss and coat in that. You're pretty much ready to go. You'll be able to, the, the smell's going to start coming through really nicely now. Uh, the Chinese five spice and, uh, it, and that chicken powder spice mix is what's going to make it smell just like a Chinese. Uh, spring onions in at the, at the end because you don't want them to go too soft. You want the flavour in there, but a little bit of bite from them. And not all of the spring onions as well, just about three quarters of your spring onions in there. You're going to put a little few on the top just for decoration at the end. Give that a good mix round. And that's it, you're ready to serve. So we can get them in sort of a nice, uh, a, a nice serving plate like that. A few of those extra spring onions on the top just for crunch. Salt and pepper chips. Tastes just like they do from the Chinese. Way better if you fried your chips, but don't worry about that. They're still delicious either way. Um... Yeah, it's an easy one. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah, here you go. That's <laughs> that's how the bowl came back after about 10 minutes at the table. So, yeah, I really appreciate every single viewer. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.